There's a new trend of many young people using a product called Zen, a nicotine-based product. And I'm going to break down the science behind that and the risk benefits of low-dose nicotine. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, nitric oxide biochemist and physiologist. You know, we've known about nicotine for decades. Nicotine was the, the active ingredient in tobacco products from cigarettes to, to smokeless tobacco. And nicotine uh, is, is a very important molecule. We have what's called nicotinic receptors inside the body. That means that nicotine, this natural containing molecule, activates these nicotinic receptors. And there are some executive function benefits of nicotine, low-dose nicotine. But the risk of getting nicotine from cigarettes and tobacco far outweighed the benefits of what nicotine itself actually provided. So I'm not uh, promoting getting nicotine from tobacco-based products. But now there are these isolated nicotine products, microdosing nicotine, and people are using it for concentration to overcome things like um, attention deficit disorders and just improving, turning their brain on, eliminating brain fog is what I hear people talk about. Personally, I've tried it. It does, you do see an effect, you do feel an effect from nicotine. It's not something that I do on a daily basis because you know, I'm pretty high functioning uh, every day and I don't feel like I need nicotine to turn my brain on. Some people do, but when you understand the benefits of, of nicotine and how it's working in the body, it certainly turns on executive function, improves cognition, improves your ability to think clearly. But nicotine is also a vasoconstrictor. And again, just like any molecule, there's a dose-dependent effect. And vasoconstrictors do as they say, they constrict the blood vessels. So they're compromising blood flow to certain parts of the body. So you can overdo it on nicotine. In the human body, there's a redundancy. There's, there's you know, vasodilators, vasoconstrictors. And the human body is meant to maintain some balance. And what we find is the older we get, the less nitric oxide we make. So we're losing the primary vasodilatory molecule. And if you're continually taking nicotine products or other vasoconstrictors, then we have an imbalance. More vasoconstrictors, less vasodilators, compromised blood flow, uh, ischemia, hypoxia, stiff blood vessels, so if you're taking nicotine, and again, you get the benefits from it at the proper dose, I would highly encourage you to take our nitric oxide supplement to offset the vasoconstrictor effects. So get the executive function benefits of nicotine, but mitigate the vasoconstrictor effects of the nicotine by taking our nitric oxide. And again, nitric oxide itself improves cerebral blood flow, improves cognition, improves executive performance, I think we can amplify the effects of nicotine, mitigate the, the negative downsides of the vasoconstrictor effects of nicotine by pairing it with nitric oxide. You want to perform better, nitric oxide does that, but again, understand the risk benefits of nicotine and how we're delivering nicotine in these different products.